1990, a script arrived from director Jim Sheridan for The Field. Harris was offered a minor role, but after reading the script, he wanted nothing less than the lead, the role of Bull McCabe. And he came back and said, I'll play the ball. I think he, it was just something that he, he identified with and that he felt very strongly about. And even after Sheridan's first choice for Bull McCabe died suddenly, the producers were still not convinced. I think he got on the costume and the hat and everything. Once you saw him with the other actors, like he was like a towering figure. So I knew he could play it, you know? And he never really came out of character, I suppose, for the next 10 weeks. <laughs> he was just like Bull McCabe. Go on, Father. Go on. Lock the gates to God's house. Sure, they were locked at the time of the famine, too. No priest died the time of the famine. Only poor people, like us. He played a sort of blustery, gruff, windswept patriarch in the, the sort of wilds of Ireland, a man, as, as the title of the field suggests, a man sort of of the earth who was perhaps a man of few words, but big gestures and as expansive as the landscape around him. It was a sort of a grand, outsized performance, and he did it very, very well. He had this majesty to him that he really made work in his uh, film roles, and in the field, he has this kind of quality that's uh, very much Shakespearean, even though the material is not Shakespearean. He has a, almost the quality of a King Lear. Yeah, I thought he was just such a, such a magnificent, magnificent portrayal of a, 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 a dark character with so much depth, and I mean, it was made for him. He knew you were making something special. Uh, it was so powerful. His commanding portrayal of the tormented and unforgiving Bull McCabe electrified Hollywood. And the thing about the field was that it really brought him back. And he was almost introduced to a whole new generation that way, a generation that hadn't been aware of him prior to that. This was a chance to, to sort of really show, you know, people what he could do, you know, a showpiece for him. He was lucky because they're not, people don't get second chances, and he got a second chance, and he got back to come, come back to do a, you know, to have another, another big career all over again. What came with the bull was acceptance. Hollywood acceptance. He was very proud of that film, yeah, as he should have been. It was the most career and life-defining character for Dickie. Richard received his second Academy Award